This is an optical illusion picture. It looks like, to some people, an old woman, a haggish-looking old woman with a big gaping smile. And to others, they look at the same picture and they see a very young woman looking off in a different direction. So when you look at the picture, in one perspective, it looks like an old woman. In another perspective, it looks like a young woman. So let me just show you. I'll illustrate it for you by taking the picture. What I'll do is I'll put a pair of glasses on the old lady's face so you can see the glasses, her big nose, and the gash of a smile. And I say, okay, now let's take a look at the younger woman in the same picture. So I remove the glasses from the old lady, put on the new glasses uh, in a different way, remove that smile for a second, that gaping smile from the old lady, now look at the picture. And when you see the picture this time, what you can see is there's a young woman looking off to the right, and you're seeing her profile. So here's the point. The picture can represent either an old woman or the picture can represent a young woman. I said, well, how do I know what the picture really represents? The original artist, when he put this together, I don't think he was thinking, oh, I'm going to draw two ladies in the same picture. He was drawing one picture, and the second image came out of it. So the question I would ask is, in the original piece of artwork, did the artist intend the old picture or the young woman's picture? So I said, well, let's do a scientific assessment of that. And when I do, you get this chart. Here are all the bits of data, the ones and the zeros of a scientific assessment of this piece of artwork. And I say, well, look at the image data. Does that image data tell you if it's a young woman or an old woman? And the answer is, I can't tell from the data. And all of a sudden, you realize something very important. The same data in a different perspective can give me a different image. And if I change my perspective, I can get another image. So what's important is when you look at the picture, and if you're looking at the old woman, you cannot at the same time see the young woman. What you have to do is change your point of focus and get and gear into another point of view. So as you then switch to look at the young woman, you're looking at different characteristics, and then all of a sudden the young woman comes out. Point, you cannot see the old woman and the young woman simultaneously. You have to change your points of reference. The relevance is this. The new science we're going to talk about, the new science of epigenetics and the new science of quantum physics, is going to use the exact same data that we already have. What it's going to do is change our point of reference. So we can use the same data, but get an entirely new picture of evolution. Hat dir dieses Video gefallen? Gib uns ein Zeichen und lasse einen Daumen nach oben da. Bist du interessiert an weiteren solchen kostenlosen Videos? Dann abonniere unbedingt unseren Kanal und drücke die Benachrichtigungsglocke, denn nur so stellst du sicher, dass du kein weiteres Video verpasst. Danke dir und bis zum nächsten Video.